you have a game where you have a main character, enemy characters, and obstacles. For each of these objects, we need to have code that keeps track of its position in the world, and code for rendering the image for each object. We could write the same code in all three classes, but you recognize that this is all similar. So instead you make a third class called game object that handles this for you. You now have a general implementation that tracks and renders out the object. The code is mostly identical, but you allow the subclass to specify which image is shown. You just created an abstraction. Architects have gotten really good at this game, of identifying repetition and extracting it out. We get into the mode of code repetition bad, more abstraction good. But there's a hidden trade-off that doesn't get considered. Coupling. Most engineers conceptually understand what coupling is, and they definitely feel its web when trying to modify an overcoupled system. But when designing software, you don't feel the impacts of coupling. I consider coupling to be an equal and opposite reaction of abstraction. For every bit of abstraction you add, you've added more coupling. Let's explore an example. We have a program that saves out data to XML, but that's the old format, so we want to move to JSON. We could do this by adding a configuration to the save logic to support both modes. But this will make the removal of XML complicated and dangerous, because they're all intermingled. So instead, we'll make the JSON writer a separate class. Then we can just chop off the XML support by deleting the whole file, not needing to unweave the program logic. Alright, so now we've written our fancy new JSON writing class. We might notice that both take in a file name during construction. Our little repetition detectors go off and realize that maybe, maybe we could extract this out. So our instinct is to create a common class called file saver that just takes a file name. And our subclasses can grab it from this protected variable. But this is a bad idea. We've now coupled both of these classes to the same input. They must take a file input. So if there ever became a need to create something that didn't use a file, like a database or cloud connection, this would break the abstraction. And on the flip side, this abstraction brings us no value. What does this abstraction save us? Well, I guess we don't need to assign the variable twice. But this isn't any complicated logic. It's simply assigning a variable. So for me, this squarely fits into the not worth it camp. Okay. Now what about the save functionality? We could consider creating an interface that represents the save method, but we do know that this would increase coupling, because now both of these classes are constrained to the same save method. So what benefits does this abstraction bring us? Well, let's look at the usage. We have an if statement that decides which class to create and calls save on one of them. So if we add a common interface, we only get to remove this one duplicate save line. That doesn't simplify the program in any meaningful way. So I'd also put this into the it's not worth it camp. At this point, it's better to keep these as two distinct classes, with no connection at all. There are two cases where it would make me decide it was worth it. One would be if we added more save options. If we had three or more, we might want to extract the construction of these save objects into a separate piece of code. Especially if the different savers had different parameters, like a database configuration. The other case would be if we needed our program to defer or repeat saving at a different point in the program. For example, if we wanted to save every five minutes automatically, we'd create a class called interval saver. And it would make sense for this interval saver class to be unaware which saver it's calling. In both cases, it becomes worth it when we want to separate the decision of which saver we want from the time we actually want to save. Overall, it's good to only apply abstraction when the value it brings overweighs the coupling. 
This does mean that you might have a little bit of code repetition, but I think that a little code repetition brings less pain when changing code than overcoupling. What do you think?